Hello, today's practice is going to be focused on creating some space across the hips and the low back. We'll go ahead and begin. We'll come to a cross-legged position. From your cross-legged position, melt the shoulders down the back. Bring your awareness down to the pelvis. Locate your sit bones. And from your sit bones, stand tall through the spine. The arm bones slowly move back. The eyes begin to soften close. We just begin to feel the upper cavities of the chest the lower cavity of the pelvis with their breath. You follow the breath in. Notice where we can expand the breath into and what we can surround the breath around. Gauging how the trunk of our body is feeling as we sit tall on our seat. About three more breaths. Open up through the eyes, reach the arms up, mountain arms. Twisting over to the right hand side. Fingers come behind you. Left hand comes onto the top of the knee. Gently rotate the spine over to the right hand side. As you do so, lean the spine back over the pelvis. Lengthen the tailbone down and lift tall through the crown of the head. Release the twist, arms reach up, mountain arms. Left hand comes behind you, right hand to the left knee, sitting tall on your seat, and a gentle rotation over to the left hand side. A tendency might to be might be to lean forward into that rotation. Instead, find evenness between your sit bones, a dropping of the tailbone, and more of an extension of the spine as it falls right on top of the pelvis. Release, come back to center, inhale the arms up. Take the fingertips behind you, tent out through the fingertips, You'll roll the hips forward, pressing weight into the front of the pelvis. Arm bones revolve back. Option for that head to soften behind you. Keep that breath moving into the cavity of the pelvis. A nice hollow space for it to move to in the cavity of the rib cage. Again, a nice hollow place to fill with breath. Lower the hips down. Reach the arms up. Twist over to the right hand side. Inhale brings you back to center. Twist over to the left hand side. Come back through center as the arms lift, the legs lift. We switch the crossing of the legs. 
come to find a nice tall seat. Hands come behind the back. Pressing through the fingertips. Reaching the pelvis forward. Option to drop that head back. The breath begins to fill the pelvic bowl, spreading it wide from outer hip to outer hip. The tailbone is reaching, so we're not tucking it, but we're finding width from the pubic bone to the navel, from iliac crest to iliac crest. Lower the hips down. Reach the arms up to mountain arms. Bring the hands to heart center. Take a moment to visualize how you'd like your practice to unfold. Release the hands, open up the eyes. Take the right knee, bring it out to the corner of your mat or parallel to your mat. The right hand will come behind you. You'll roll the weight forward onto your shin. Glide the left arm behind you as you gently reach back through the left thigh bone. Breath in. Breath out. Feel the hollow of the belly, the hollow of the ribcage with your breath. Lower the hips down. We'll move fluidly with three of our own cycles of breath. Gliding the left arm behind, pressing the hips forward, lowering the hips down. Now pay attention to what's happening on that right hand, how you're planting it down, how you're using it as some stability to lean into your opening. We'll hold here for a cycle of breath. You'll lower on to the right hip. Turn your torso. If you'd like to bring that knee more to the corner of your mat, setting yourself up for pigeon pose. Now you're rolling the weight forward. The left femur head rolls forward. And we take that stretch to the top of the left thigh and deep into the right outer hip. The left arm will come forward. The right arm reaches up, twist. Take the right hand to the outside of that left leg or back towards the back of your mat. Breath in and breath out. The right hand will come through for thread the needle pigeon. The left arm extends forward, soften down through the forehead, through the frontal temples. And discover here where you can create the most amount of sensation by rolling the hips side to side, maybe tilting the hips front and back. And hopefully what you begin to notice is any shift in the hips creates different sensations up through the length of the spine and down through the lower body through the legs. Three deep breaths. Using the left palm to gently press into, unwinding the right hand, finding a twist open. Right hand comes down, left hand comes down, nice wide on your mat. You'll step the right leg forward. Position your feet accordingly, rising up to a crescent moon.
Bring your awareness down to your sit bones and directly up from your sit bones lie the hip sockets. The femur head on the right side is rolling down and back. The femur head on the left side is rolling forward, taking that stretch into the psoas, the obliques, the chest, down the thigh. Fingertips come to frame the front foot. Straighten through the front leg. Surfing it out a few times with your breath. The hips will glide back. The chest softens forward. And we're looking to create space across the back of the hips as well as the low back. You can stay right here or an option to move into a full split. Extending the leg forward, the left leg back. I like to roll onto my right hip. I have that range of motion, but not everybody will have that range of motion. So I would encourage you to come back to a half Hanumanasana and work through that as long as it takes to get the nervous system settled down in order to create more opening through the hips. We'll find three deep breaths as you begin to settle in to whatever shape it is that you're creating. From here, if you're in your half splits, you're going to roll onto your right hip. Slightly bend the left knee for half hero's pose. I'm going to reposition my pelvis so my sit bone on my left side is reaching towards the mat. You'll be asymmetric in your hips. The fingers will come behind you and you'll begin to make yourself make your way down to your half Hanuman. You want to come to an appropriate length where your body feels sensation. For me, my spine is all the way down. And again, I take my awareness down to my pelvis and I do a bit of my own discovery work as I maybe hike up through the right hip, maybe the left, tilt tailbone forward and back. Discover how it feels for the pelvis to move around the head of the femur bone. We'll be here for about three to five breaths. With this broad attention of creating space across the front of the hips, the front of the pelvis. You'll slowly come out, pressing into the back of the arms, the palms, drawing the right knee in, reaching the right arm up in a mermaid side body stretch. The left arm can grab for the right, drawing the arm up and over as you root in through the right sit bone. Now the left sit bone is still working for that reach towards the mat. Three breaths. Releasing the arm, 
bringing that right leg back, taking that right hand back. So you may want to play with where that right leg lands. You'll take the left hand, grab for the top of the left foot, and begin to move the kneecap behind you. The heel will draw in closer to the seat. The left shoulder will hug down and back. You'll kick slightly into that foot to bring some length through the top of the thigh, but more space from the tailbone to the navel, from the navel up to the sternum, and maybe from the sternum out through the crown of the head. Three breaths. Release through the left leg. Bring the left foot to ground down. The right leg will extend out. Left foot comes to the inner right thigh. Turn your torso. Arms reach for the outer edges of the feet. You decide if you'd like to work with a straight spine or a rounded spine. What's your body calling for? Keeping in mind that broader attention of creating space across the low back. Three breaths. Filling that pelvic bowl with nutrients. every breath you take. Now slowly come up. Take the right shin, cross it in front of the left. Inhale the arms up to mountain arms. Take the fingers behind you. Hips move forward, thigh bones draw back towards the sit bones. Inner groin gets an opening. Lower yourself back down. Take the legs nice and wide. Reach the arms up. Wide legged forward fold. Halfway lift, long spine, spreading the low back wide, forward fold. Halfway lift, upper back spreads wide, forward fold. Come back to a tall lifted spine. Bending through the left knee, taking that right leg and swinging it back. The left hand will plant somewhere behind the left leg. The right arm will scoop around. You'll lean the hips forward. And from the hips leaning forward, the, arms ex the arm extends behind. Finding that movement three times with your breath. I'm noticing if you're feeling any more space or freedom across the pelvis. We'll hold for a moment for a cycle of breath. Lower the hips down. Bring the left shin to pigeon pose. You'll roll the weight forward. Find a placement for that shin, maybe extending it out or drawing it back in. The left hand will plant, the right arm will reach up. 
pigeon thread the needle. The left hand comes across. The forehead grounds in. Five breaths to move that pelvis slightly, coming into that shape where you're creating sensation. The underlining idea of creating space. Filling the pelvic bowl with breath. Filling the rib cage up with breath. Use your right hand to press into, unwind, lift the left arm up. Take the hands in front of you. You'll set the step the left leg forward to crescent moon. Rise up through crescent moon. Fill the pelvic bowl up with breath and to continue to create space. Maybe some relief through the front of the right hip. As we begin to drain out some tension and bring some length to that area. The fingertips come down. The left leg begins to straighten and bend in a surfing action. Three breaths. So is your back rounded? Is it flat? You can stay half Hanuman. This is a great preparatory stretch to continue to bring that awareness down to the length of the back of the legs and the space you're creating at the left low back. Otherwise, you'll straighten through the legs and move into your half Hanuman. Now, I lean the weight over to my left to begin, and then I begin to work my hips back to the opposite side. And, then, and wherever your body lands, where you are creating and generating sensations that are appropriate for your body, You'll stay for three cycles of breath. Whether you're in your half Hanuman or your split, you'll come down to your hip, bring that right leg in, for half hero's pose. Walking your way, slowly moving your way into your half heroes. Positioning your body, orienting yourself where you're creating length across the front of the hips. Sensations generating all over the whole body, but focused on the opening of the right psoas, down through the thigh, and the breath continues to feed that generation of sensation. The slightest tip of the hip, tilt of the hips, rotation of the hips will affect 
your sensations being felt. Slowly begin to make your way out, pressing on to the back of the arms, up to the hands. The left heel will draw in. Left sit bone rooted, right sit bone reaching towards the earth. Left hand comes up and over. Right hand comes to meet it. Mermaid stretch. Three deep breaths as you're actively pulling that waistband nice and long. Arriving back through center, releasing the hands down. Keeping the left leg where it is, or maybe take it slightly in front of you. The left hand will plant, you'll grab for the top of the right foot. Begin to draw the kneecap behind you. Slight pressure into the hand as you kick the foot into the hand. And the breath fills the pelvic bowl fills the cavity of the ribs. Spaciousness internally. Release. Bring the left foot to plant. The right foot, sorry, extend the left leg out. The right inner thigh comes to the inner left leg line. Turn the torso towards your thigh and reach forward for the foot. Three deep breaths. Each breath creating more space across the low back across the thoracolumbar fascia, where lots of ligaments and muscles and tendons connect. Slowly make your way up. The left ankle will cross in front of the right, the fingertips will come behind the hips, press the hips forward, press the head back, and notice if you've created any more space across the pelvis, from navel to tailbone, from outer hip to outer hip. Lower the hips down. Extend the legs out, straddle stretch, take a breath in, melt yourself down. Halfway lift. Melt the spine forward. Halfway lift. Spine melts forward. Halfway lift, bringing the spine all the way up, crossing the right ankle on top of the left. Moving into lotus pose. If lotus isn't in your practice, you stay in a cross-legged position. The right foot comes to the crease of the left thigh. The left foot comes to the crease of the right thigh. I'm going to scoop myself back slightly. So the feet create a nice tactile feeling for the thigh bones just to drop deeper into the socket of the hips. We'll take the arms back behind us, roll the weight forward onto the knees, and then tilt the head back. Lower yourself down. Take a moment and pause right where the head is lined up 
on top of the tailbone. We'll switch the crossing of the legs. The left foot comes to the right inner crease. The right leg crosses on top. The hands come behind you. You'll press yourself forward. Again, you'll move through the same movement if you're not in your half lotus, just like we did previously in our crisscross applesauce. And then notice how the pressure of the feet helped to drop that femur bone maybe deeper into the socket of the hip. Maybe can you continue to breathe? Lower the hips down. Bring the head right above the hips. Reorient the spine. Uncross the legs. Send the legs out in front of you. Slight windshield wiper. If you like Shavasana on your back, find Shavasana on your back. Otherwise, we'll end practice in a seated posture. Grounding down through the seat, lifting tall through the crown of the head. Melting the shoulders wide. Soften down the eyes and Fill that pelvic bowl up with your breath. Can it move into that space more seamlessly and fluidly? Bring the hands to the heart center. I hope you found more space through, you, through the pelvis, through the low back, more space in the chest, more space around the heart. With light, love, gratitude, and grace, namaste. Thanks. See you soon.